Hi guys, my name is Chelsea, if you don't know me already, and if you do know me already, welcome back. Uh, so this video is going to be a little bit different today. I just kind of wanted to put out a video that I think could be beneficial to people that are trying to figure out what to do in life, I guess. As you can tell by the title of this video, this is directed towards younger people in high school. I just want to talk about some of the things that I wish somebody a little bit older than me would have told me when I was in high school. Things that could have made my life easier, give me some type of direction, you know. So, if you're new to my channel, this isn't my usual environment behind me. I actually live out of a 21 foot camper trailer and I travel the United States with my dog, Banks. and. We go to all the national parks and we make travel videos and tips and tricks of how to be a nomad. That being said, I have not always lived this type of lifestyle. I've also lived the straight and narrow path where I graduated high school and then immediately went to college, graduated with a bachelor's degree, re-enrolled again, and then graduated again with a second major. After that, I immediately started a career straight out of college. That's when I ended up straying from the path and becoming a nomad. But regardless of my decision to stray away from the cookie cutter life, I am still a huge advocate for education and finishing high school and even going to college if that's what you feel is right for you, but especially finishing high school. So this video is definitely directed to a couple of my younger viewers and a couple of you guys have messaged me, you're a senior in high school or one day you want to travel and stuff like that and these are just a couple things that I want to say to you beforehand. My number one thing would be to finish high school and I know that that's such a cliche saying that all the adults say stay in school kids and all that stuff but really stay in school and try harder because I know high school sucks. I, I, I sucked at high school. I didn't want to be there. I'm not gonna lie. I skipped school. I didn't pay a lot of attention. I was known as the girl that slept through algebra three times. Being a little bit older now, my only two regrets in life involve my education and one of them, the number one thing, would be me not trying harder in high school. Because regardless of all the times that I skipped and whatever, I still got pretty decent grades and I just think that if I would have applied myself a little bit harder in high school, the world really would have been open to me. I could have gone to any college I wanted and on scholarship. Who knows where life would have taken me had that happened, you know? So my point in saying this is, even if you're kind of a rebel kid like I was, the time that you do spend there, do apply yourself. And if there's homework that's given to you, just go do it, you know? Like, it sucks and this isn't a mentality that I adopted until I was in college, but when I was in college, I used to say to myself, you know what, I'm suffering in the short term so that the long term can be okay. Because every time I was envious of in college of all my friends that were going out to parties and having fun, I still did that too, but I didn't do it as much as some of my friends did. I always put college before my free time. And that was really important because it also gave me confidence, like, and it made my life less stressful. I started to hate school less because when I studied ahead of time, I wasn't stressed out about the test that I had to take the next day because I knew that I knew the information, you know what I mean? When I did my homework and went to class, I could actually follow a lecture and not feel lost and not feel stupid, which was a big confidence booster for me. So try to adopt that mentality now while you're still in high school so that whatever you decide to do later in life, you've already like instilled this pattern and this mentality on yourself. So my number one thing would be to try hard in high school. It's really important and I, I know that I might just be a stranger to you on the internet but I'm 25 years old now and truly my w w biggest regret is not trying a little bit harder in high school. 
I'm not saying don't have fun with your friends. I'm not saying don't go do this and that and whatever. I'm just saying while you are in school, give a little bit more effort to that. Away from education and just being in high school, this age, okay, socially, my biggest piece of advice would be not to talk about other people. Unless you're going to say it to a person's face. That, that Just don't do it. Because the thing is, is like, if you get caught up in gossip and things get back around to you, you're going to make enemies. People aren't going to like you. And what's really important that I've figured out is like, be somebody that people either regret not having in their life anymore or just be somebody that people want to be around. I heard this saying one time, I can't remember it verbatim, but it was something along the lines of small-minded people talk about other people and great-minded people talk about ideas. I could have saved myself a lot of drama in high school if I didn't talk about other people and I know that sometimes you get caught up in the gossip or caught up in the moment or you really trust a particular person and you're just like oh yeah this and this and this at the end of the day just don't say anything about somebody that you wouldn't say to their face you're allowed not to like people you're allowed to disagree with what people do and to be honest you're allowed to say yeah that person sucks but if you're not prepared to say you suck to that person don't just don't say it you have to be able to stand by what you say in life and if you're gonna talk badly about somebody it better have some conviction behind it in the sense that don't talk shit about the way that people look because that's not fair don't talk shit about the amount of money that people have or where they come from in life that's not fair if they did something that you think is morally wrong discuss that you can have a conversation about that have a conversation about that with them always stand up for the underdog don't be a piece of shit and talk about people for shallow things. You can disagree, but disagree to their face. Because the last thing you wanna do is be the most hated person in your social group because you spread a rumor that either wasn't true or you had no business talking about. Stay in your lane. So when it comes to aspects of your life, like going out and partying or maybe experimenting with drugs or alcohol or whatever, I can't preach to you about don't do drugs and don't drink alcohol because I did. I was in high school, all my friends were doing it, everyone was doing it, so I did that too. And I'm not going to say just don't. Obviously there are certain drugs that I will tell you are a dumb idea. Don't do heroin, don't do crack, don't do meth. Like, there are certain things that you definitely should not do. But when it comes to things like alcohol, you're probably going to drink one day. That's just the reality. You're probably going to drink one day. So take it easy. It's really important to find your limits. Like when I was in high school, okay, I, I drank every once in a while, but I never have blacked out. I've never thrown up from drinking and I'm proud of that. Like I've never done things that I seriously regret because of drinking. And I never made a fool of myself. Like, when I was in college, there were these kids that, whose parents were so strict when they were in high school that they never got to like find their limits and never got to understand what it feels like to be drunk or whatever. And so when they got to college, they just went crazy. They would drink way too much, make a fool of themselves, black out, pass out, throw up on themselves, go to the hospital, do really dumb things, and dude, that doesn't look good. That's not a good look. Like, don't be that person. If you're gonna drink, find your limits. Like, be responsible about it. Take it slowly so that you know what's happening to your body as it comes. Like, don't take six shots and expect to be cool. Like, have a glass of wine. See how that feels. You know what I mean? Ease into it so that when you get to college or you get to some social environment where everyone's drinking, you're not the guy trying to jump off the roof with like vomit in their hair. You know what I mean? Take it easy. It'll be fine. You've got time. And then I guess my last thing would be in relationships. I think that the strongest loves that I've ever felt were in high school. And I 
was always so mad when adults would say to me, oh, it's just puppy love. You don't know what love is. You don't know what that feels like. It's like, no. Now that I'm older, I really can say, like, said that I was in love in high school. I was. I was in love. That I, it was love. It wasn't puppy love. It was, it was genuine. If anything, it was more genuine because at that time, I really wasn't concerned about how much money they made or if we were going to have a good future together or can we both afford the rent or is this person responsible like stuff like that it really was just a genuine care for another human being without all the distraction feel what you feel you're totally valid in feeling anything that you feel but know when something is unhealthy and take it from me as somebody that spent probably about seven years total between two unhealthy relationships know when to call it quits don't let a person turn you crazy and don't do crazy things in the name of getting attention from somebody that you care about because you develop a reputation and like i said earlier you want to be somebody that people remember fondly for the rest of your life and if you get mean and you get jealous and you start doing really crazy stuff and you start like yelling really mean things to another person and you guys break up over it, that's what they're going to remember you as for the rest of their life and you don't want to be that. Don't be the crazy ex-girlfriend or the crazy ex-boyfriend. If you love somebody and you guys are fine and things start getting rough, it's okay to separate at that point because then you know, look, we had a good time while it lasted, it wasn't meant to be, let's move on from there. If things don't work out in a relationship and you are devastated, know that it's okay. It does get better. I know that it sucks so much in the moment, but it will be okay and it won't be your last relationship and you will find somebody else, not somebody else you might be in love with 10 times harder than your last. It, you really don't know. Breakups suck, but sometimes they really are a blessing in disguise so that the next person you meet, you can actually be open to. And that might be the actual love of your life. <laughs> so just keep those things in mind, you know? And I know I said that that was probably going to be my last topic, but it's not. This is going to be my last topic. Take care of yourself mentally. High school is extremely difficult for so many reasons and taking care of your mental health and your physical health is so important. And the things that you do now in high school, you're, you're not going to be the same person when you're 25 years old, but there's going to be remnants of you and the, the, the decisions that you make now in high school are going to shape who you become. So become healthy, become genuine, become successful, become funny, be become charming, become somebody to remember, become somebody kind. That shit matters at the end of the day, and that shit in the long run is what's going to make you likable and therefore popular amongst everybody. All the popular girls that I went to middle school and high school with, popularity doesn't matter past high school like it really doesn't and I like hate to say that but like honestly it's true and it's probably a good thing nobody cares after high school because you don't see your parents running around saying oh my god she's so popular talking about another 40 year old woman you know what I mean nobody cares after high school things change it's not the same so take care of your mental health so that you can be the best person that you can and if you feel depressed or you feel anxious or you feel like anything else is going on with you whether it be self-harm and eating disorder whatever it could be go talk to somebody about it i did and it was the best thing i've ever done for myself i went to therapy for five years after high school and it changed my life and i'm living the best life that i possibly can right now because I went and got help because I couldn't be scared to talk about it anymore or else I wasn't going to be here anymore. Let people help you. It's okay. It doesn't make you weak. It makes you stronger than your mental illness. 
Because if you have depression and your brain is saying to you, I'm not worth anything, I'm not going to go get help because it doesn't matter anyway, life is never going to be good, that's a lie. That is your mental illness lying to you. And if you go get help, you are showing your mental illness that you are stronger than it, that it doesn't own you or control you or have any real standing on your identity. Go get help if you think that you need it. It's okay. Normalize this topic. Don't make fun of anybody for having a mental illness. It's just so important to practice self-care like that, you know? So overall, my biggest rules are stay in school and try a little bit harder. Don't talk about people unless you're willing to say it to them. Take it easy when you're experimenting with different substances. Don't be that fool. Love as hard as you want to, but know when to walk away and know that it will be okay. And practice self-care and self-love every day. Because after high school, life's gonna change and you want it to be cool. So I really feel like if you follow those like four or five pieces of advice, your life will be smoother. <laughs> Keep those things in mind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you ever have any questions about anything, feel free to get in touch. I read all of my comments and every email I've ever gotten and every message. And follow me on Instagram if you want to. If that's easier for you, you can send me a DM there. All my social media is down below in the description box. I've got Twitter, all of it. So get in touch with me if you need anything. I'll be your big sister or your friend or whatever you need me to be, I will try to be for you. That's all for today and I'll see you in the next one.